I've worn the same t-shirt in three or four videos now, and I don't care because now this video is going to blow up. You know why? Because I'm telling you to not buy the Jack Atlas structure deck, or excuse me, the Crimson King structure deck. Let's dive on into this boo-boo stain, shall we? You better put your protective equipment on. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AbrielR32 here, and destroy the ever-living structure deck boo-boo stain. How'd you like that one? Off of that subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1200 ladder. Every time I've talked about a structure deck coming out, the video has always blown the fuck up. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that ding-dong notification bell so you can be part of that A-gang because we are three vodka and Mountain Dews in because we're going to be like Boogie2988 and drink our Mountain Dew instead of Sprite because we ain't playing Sprite purely no more. I actually sold that shit and made almost $300. Ah, that is very good. Now... Do not buy this dog shit structure deck. <laughs> We're just going to dive on into this shit. Now, why is this so funny to me? This is funny to me because this Jack Atlas structure deck is the most dog shit structure deck I have seen in quite a while, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you're probably wondering, Avery, you're getting the new res, uh, red resonator support or resonator support in general. You're getting the new red dragon arch fiend stuff. You're getting red dragon arch fiend like retrain reprints. And we're also getting danger monster reprints. So how is this structure deck bad? So this structure deck comes out 920 at OTS stores, 922 everywhere else. By the time that we get this structure deck, we will most likely have another new ban list. But the issue is that the structure that comes out after Duelist Nexus. The reason why I'm saying not to buy this is because, especially for the casual crowd, if you're just looking at this structure deck at face value, there is nothing here that promotes wanting to buy it if you haven't already invested in Duelist Nexus prior. And the casual crowd isn't necessarily going to invest in that. You know, whether it be singles or sealed product or what the fuck ever. And especially with the June ban list, we already saw that Konami doesn't give a fuck to hit decks that are like a month to a month and a half old and just kill them out of the water. Super Heavy Samurai and Purely would like to take your phone call. <laughs> so... Uh, like, unless there's, on, honestly, like, unless there's, like, an evenly match and a lightning storm common reprint in this fucking structure deck, there is no reason to buy this structure deck because it is just dog shit. So, uh, let, let me, let me kind of break this down here, right? Back in the day, right, I've been playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! for over 10 years. Back in the day, yes, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Stardust Dragon were both played usually at the same time in, in competitive decks. Red Dragon Archfiend was more of like an OTK card, and Stardust Dragon was meant more for like destruction protection, obviously. But overall, the card that was seen as better was fucking Stardust Dragon. Red Dragon Archfiend was cool, but its effect is dog shit that it just blows up all the monsters that didn't battle, including your own. So if you wanted to build a board back in the day, you had to attack with Red Dragon Archfiend and then go into your main phase two and continue building your board. And building your board back in the day of like 08 to 2010 was like... Making a synchro monster, attacking, and then setting back row and just passing your fucking turn. This Jack Atlas structure deck forces you, if you look at the new support, forces you to play the original Red Dragon Archfiend. And the original Red Dragon Archfiend sucks. No deck, whether it's Resonator or what the fuck ever, is going to be playing the original Red Dragon Archfiend. If you're trying to make like the King Calamity or the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss and shit like that, that stuff is good. But the fact that you have to commit extra deck space to the original Red Dragon Archfiend is dog shit. And if you haven't already invested in Duelist Nexus... Or even Monstrous Revenge with like the Rocket Synchron or whatever the fuck it's called. If you're just buying three structure decks and hoping it's like the Trap Tricks or the Dark World structure that you can just slap three together and go spank ass at your locals, that's not going to happen here, Sugar Boo Bear. We're getting reprints that are... <laughs> 
Prince in Monsters Revenge and the Dark World structure deck that they're fucking putting in this structure deck. And it makes no goddamn sense to me. They're reprinting like Nessie and I think like Bigfoot and Chupacabra. They're reprinting three danger cards, one of which I know for a fact is Nessie. They're already reprinting Nessie in Monsters Revenge. Why the hell are you buying this dog water structure deck for the reprints? <laughs> So, unless, like, they're putting in common lightning storms, which I've been preaching to the choir since, like, fucking Trap Trick Structure Deck. I've been saying, look, we need a common lightning storm reprint. The card's at two now. We don't have a common lightning storm reprint or a rare by extension. Lightning Storm really needs that reprint. Like, all jokes aside, if Lightning Storm and Evenly Match are in this Jack Atlas Structure Deck and we just don't know it yet then I can take back everything I've said about this structure deck and you could go out and buy three of these and justify it because both Lightning Storm and Evenly are in this structure deck. They throw in Ash Blossom in this. Oh, mwah. this is the best structure deck we've ever received in Yu-Gi-Oh! structure deck history, like in 25 years. Like I'm, I'm being dead serious about that, not just because I'm half drunk. And so because of that, like there's no inherent value out of this structure deck. You mean to tell me that you can buy three of this structure deck, depending on what the next ban list is, but like a fucking ban list isn't going to suddenly make this garbage tier one. You mean to tell me that you're going to buy three of this and do well? No, absolutely not. Like, again, structure decks are meant to either push new strategies or to at least give us decent reprints. Like the Trap Trick structure deck was fantastic just because of the fact that it had evenly matched. Barring any other reprints, it had a common, or was it hollow? Whatever the fuck it was, it had evenly match. And that's really, at the end of the day, what structure decks are. They're meant to be good reprint sets. You know, whether it's they're reprinting old shit like Tuning or Red Dragon Archfiend or whatever. I think the concept of the structure deck is cool. But if a casual player picks this up, and they haven't already invested in Duelist Nexus, and by extension of that, because of the Rocket Synchron or whatever the fuck it's called, out of Monstrous Revenge, they're going to be at a massive disadvantage at their locals. And on top of that, I know it's banlist dependent, but still, depending on what happens on our next banlist, this shit may not even be good. And again, Konami kind of shot themselves in the foot with this June banlist by a deck only being like a month to a month and a half old and banning the super heavy samurai link monster and just cutting super heavy samurai off at the legs. And so because of that, you as a player, whether you just invest as a collector or you buy product to keep it sealed, you have to be very fucking careful about your investments now because Konami has already shown, hey, Sugar Boo Bear, it may only be a month old, but we're still gonna kill this shit because it's already making big waves in the metagame. I would not touch this structure deck with a 10 foot pole. If there's something you really want out of it, go and spend like five fucking dollars on it. If that, maybe like $2 on TCG player or eBay to get what you want. Because again, unless there are big name reprints in this structure deck that we just don't know about at the time you're making this video, whether it's Lightning Storm, Evenly, Ash Blossom, D Shift, or what have you, there's not gonna be anything here if you didn't already invest in Duelist Nexus. If you got like your three copies of Rocket Synchron, I, I forget the name of it, but whatever the Synchron monster is out of Monster's Revenge, and you got the Synchron stuff out of Duelist Nexus, then yes, if you buy three of this structure deck, you are gonna get rewarded, Pimp, because that only makes your strategy even better because now you have Red Dragon Archfiend plays that you can make because you got this structure deck. And I think that that's very cool. The Resonator cards seem pretty good in this structure deck. But if you're only investing in this structure deck alone, you're not looking at Monster Revenge, you're not looking at Duelist Nexus, you're not looking at the other fucking shit that's coming out in the meantime, you're gonna get destroyed. And it doesn't help the fact, it doesn't help the argument to get this shit when they're reprinting danger cards that have already come out in previous fucking sets. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the funniest part to me. If you're getting this structure deck to get danger cards, go touch grass. Like, you, you, you're wasting your money. You should be spending your money on this channel, putting it into, like, a super thanks or some shit. <laughs> 
because it's dog water. Like, why are you putting reprints in this structure deck that are coming out in a side set before this comes out? It makes no sense to me. So, uh, not even to mention the fact that they're revolving this around Red Dragon Archfiend. I get it's a Jack Atlas structure deck, but Red Dragon Archfiend in 2023 is dog shit. Like, <laughs> It makes no sense. If you're going to be building a Synchron deck in 2023, you got to revolve that shit around like Cosmic Blazar Dragon, shooting Quasar, and like just putting a bunch of Omni Negates on the board, hoping the opponent doesn't have the Ash Blossom for your Junk Speeder, the Nibiru for your Junk Speeder, and hope to God that they're not playing Dark Ruler no more to just wipe out your board. So, <laughs> guys, let me know what you think about this Dog Water Structure deck down in the comments. Now, as a uh, preface, I guess, look, I was wrong about the Trap Trick Structure Deck, and I will wholeheartedly admit that. I thought the Structure Deck was dog shit, and people went on to buy three copies of that Structure Deck and go in top regionals. So I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. I could totally be wrong about this. And again, if it comes out after this video has been posted that, hey, Lightning Storm is a common in this Structure Deck, and you're also getting evenly matched, Lightning, Lightning Storm or evenly matched on its own doesn't fucking matter, because we've already seen previous Structure Decks do that. If we see a combination of that stuff being in the structure deck, I'll eat my words. Because then I'll be like, yeah, you should go out and buy three copies of this. But if not, if it's just Red Dragon shit, bruh, you're, you're wasting your fucking money. Like, seriously. I don't care if you can get this structure deck for 7 or $8. People were making that argument on my Dark World structure deck. I can get these structure decks for 7 or $8. <laughs> Good for you, Sugar Boo Bear. You should still go touch grass because you can still save your money by getting singles on TCG Player or eBay. Lord have mercy. This structure deck is dog water. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.